Uh, well, the topic I'm covering off today is really looking at nutrient management and utilising uh, nutrients on dairy farms. Uh, it's talking about um, the, the cycle of nutrients around the farm and how we can uh, make, I guess, best use out of them from an agronomic point of view, but also um, while maintaining sort of environmental sustainability. So it's a bit of that um, that point of connection between uh, the environment and uh, farming. So is this something that's been uh, large-scale farms are becoming more aware of now? They've got a lot of livestock, they're producing a lot of waste, and within that is a lot of things that you could potentially be using on your farm now. Yeah, look, it is, uh, I think, an in increasing issue, uh, particularly for the dairy industry. Um, the, if you look right across the industry, there's a trend to um, expanding farm sizes. That means more cows on less area, and one of the... Um, the downsides to that, I suppose, is you've got a, a, a problem or an issue that you need to manage around waste. How, how can someone look at something like um, cow waste, for example, and, and see nutrients there, Steve? Yeah, well, I suppose that's the way we like to see it. It's more like a liquid fertiliser. You've got um, a high proportion of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. They're all things that um, the average farm has to buy a lot of um, as a synthetic fertiliser, so they're paying out uh, good money for that, and yet... Uh, in, in dairy systems, in pretty much any livestock system, uh, the animals themselves only utilise a, a very small proportion of that. Now that's a, a good thing um, because it improves sustainability if you can manage to cycle those nutrients rather than accumulate them in one part of the farm or, or export them off the farm or lose them uh, to the environment. So what we're really talking about is getting uh, that cycle working around a farm where the areas that are you're depleting nutrients or, or pulling them off uh, through grazing or forage, uh, then we're being able to replace them um, through uh, basically recycling that effluent, that manure back onto those areas.